Jake Luna and White Sox We're like Whitney and the Bodyguard Just like ATMs and credit cards I was made for loving you, boy See, there's some things that just won't change And I'll always love you the same Money come and go with you, complete babe Only you, babe Evening, everybody. What's up, my overcomers? What's up, my overcomers? <laughs> Have problems. No, but um, it is so cold outside. Like I still got my coat on because I'm trying to warm up. Cause it's really cold outside. Like it's crazy. And I have to take my earrings out because. You know, I get my earrings from these spots though, so I love my earlobe free and stuff. But hello guys, I know I have been gone for like a minute, but I'm back with a new video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys 10 facts on what not to do and what to do. If you ever encounter a visually impaired person, or a blind person, or a person with disabilities in general. So, fact number one. If you see a blind person walking in a store under no circumstances, don't stare at them, okay? Like, I cannot tell you how often I walk in the store and people just stare at me like, like, how long do you need to look at me to know that I'm blind? Like, and that's, e that's either with people with disabilities or people that have, like, facial disabilities or it's just a look different. Like, there is no need to stare, okay? It's not a museum. We're not here for your amusement. We're here to live our lives and just shop for groceries. Don't got to stare at us. Like, you have never seen a black person before. I'm pretty sure you've seen one. Don't stare. It's rude. Very rude. Ugh. <sighs> Two, don't automatic don't automatically assume that a blind person needs your help. So, because I am a very independent person, this might go different for somebody else with a disability, but I'm a very independent person. And my biggest pet peeve is when people assume I need help. When they um assume that I need them to do something for me. No, wait for me to ask you. For help before you just come and try to help me no I appreciate the help I appreciate you trying to help me but for me I need you to wait for me to actually for help so yeah okay number three do not walk up to a blind person and say come here let me help you first of all that is like the scariest thing. You just don't, especially a stranger, you do not walk up to nobody and just grab them. That is so, like, what is wrong with you? And the other thing is that's not even the proper way to guide a blind person. First of all, this is this is how you're supposed to do it. First, if a blind person is standing right here, you come up to them and be like, excuse me, um, do you need help? And then if they need help, then um you meet their hand like you touch their hand be like my arm is right here and then they'll grab your hand and slide up to your elbow this is where they hold your arm because you know they can tell if your arms going this way that way leaning that way it's like it's like the middle of your function basically your main function is from your elbows so they can tell like if you're walking down the steps you're doing blah 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 this is how you guide them they are holding on to your arm It'd be better if I have somebody right here, but that's how they that's how you guide them. Like they hold on to you, you don't hold on to them. They can't guide you. They're blind. Remember? They're blind. I don't even know what number I was on. I think I was on five. Okay, six. When a person tells you that they're a blind parent, it does not mean that they have to be That that means that they have very different where like, I mean, some of them can drive, some can't drive. 
I know it's very confusing. So, 2400 is basically you can't drive, you um, you have to read braille, like you have to read really large print, which is where I'm at. Then there's the 2200, which is not as bad as 400. I don't quote me on that, but I think the two, the 100 and the 200 is where they can still drive, but at a certain time and day. Not nighttime, obviously, but I know during the sunlight. I'm not 100% excuse me, 100% sure on that, but I think that's what it is. But sorry, that so bad. Um, these last four fashions are gonna be mainly towards the illness that I have. So, um, first one for the illness that I have is, um, basically just acknowledging that that I have it, acknowledging that something is happening, you know, has you know, has this disease. So, something here not gonna be able to do. Just acknowledge it and accept it. The second one is do not treat them any different than you would treat a person who has clean to the or doesn't have any disabilities or problems. Don't treat them like they should know where something is or like that. Like just don't think they always have to know, but like, but still don't treat them like they're broken glass, you know, like they very fragile like they can break at any moment don't treat them like that because that's a horrible feeling that is a horrible feeling to be treated like you are incapable of doing things yourself when you know in your heart that you can do everything yourself okay the third one um when someone with nmo tells you that they are tired that they are hurting and that they cannot do or walk anymore whether you're at the mall or going up the steps or you're just outside they're telling the freaking truth okay with NMO there is a limit where your body says that you can't do that like you get tired you get very fatigued especially in the winter time when the season is changing it's the worst the winter for me is the worst because I get a lot, lots of pain, um, lots of flare-ups in the winter. I get stuff that's really cold. Um, yeah, I get very fatigued in the winter because also because of the time change. And then it just like, you know, your body just never really adjusts to it. So just like when they, when they tell you that they can't do something they're tired, please believe them and don't call them lazy because that is so rude. Because you don't understand what they're going through, what they're going through and you can't even begin to understand what they're don't tell them that they're lazy or like that's a bunch of bull or stuff like that because that's very helpful and good because you don't know what they're exactly what they're going to And the last last one for anyone always be supportive. No matter what that person, whether it's your family member or your friend or just somebody you know, like, be supportive in, ev- in everything they want to do. Don't tell them that they can't do something. Let them tell you that they can't do something. Don't you tell them they can't do something. You know? And this is just for people in general. Like, if you're if you're someone that wants to do something and there's, like, a lot of people around you telling you that you can't do that, you're going to be an epic fail, blah, blah, blah. Nah, forget that. You can do whatever you want to do as long as you put in the hard work, the dedication, and the love. That's all you that's the only three things you need to accomplish things in life. You need to work hard, you need to be dedicated, and you just need to love it. You know, don't let nobody tell you that you can't be anything you want to be or do anything you want to do because that's not true at all. Because if that was true, a lot of people wouldn't even be doing what they're doing. So, I just hope that some of these tips helped you guys out. Um, today was just like, just a video of you guys out there. So, like, but the next video is going to be more interesting. But this is just like, just to let you guys know what I'm um, So, I'm going to cut today's video right here. So, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button. 
you know, you can hit the like button right now because I be seeing all be having 22 views but only got three likes. Like, what type of stuff is that, y'all? Like it. Like the video. Go ahead. Turn your phone around and click the like button. I'll wait. We done? Do you need another second? Okay. Alright, we need to move on. Alright, just make sure you like that button. Um, if you, uh, never mind. I forgot what I was going to say. Alright, today's post notification shout out goes to Antone Gauthier. Thank you for liking, comment, sharing, and subscribing to my channel and hitting that post notification bell button. If you would like a post notification, I have to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell right button and comment when it's done. So guys, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and stay tuned for the next video. So remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, join the fam. Peace, love, and